<laughs> Some of you just smiling. You'd think the closer I get, the happier you get. Some of you look pained. You should. Listen, folks, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. You get this ideology out of your head that says discipline is not as good for this day as it was for the yesteryear. You get this out of you. You get this out of you for your children to go to hell. You get this out of you. You get this out of you or you'll not know the value of preaching of this kind. You'll not know it. Get it out of you. It was given by the devil. God's word tells us how to love and how to rule and how to discipline. Shakes my, shakes my bones up. And our teachers can't teach. And our preachers can't preach. And our parents can't parrot. Because of an ungodly, ungodly permissivism that's in our age. We can hardly preach and teach as we ought to. Praise the Lord. Girls, this song seems to me to fit. Don't you think so? Huh? Oh, well, you've got to sing it anyway. Stephen, can, he can hum along with you. Come on, Doris. It's, it's I'm not living my life to please people. And we'll try to close here. I know the hour's late. Glory to God. While they're getting ready, the ushers come forward. We haven't taken the offering yet. We'll take that and have the girls sing. Is there a testimony while the ushers are coming forward? Yes. I want to praise the Lord for Barbara King. Is this on? I want to praise the Lord for uh, all the teachers, but since Chris is in Barbara's class, I want to praise God for Barbara because her she is so lovingly strict. Lord, and her help. discipline is, well, she's just wonderful. And I'm, I'm just very thankful that that Chris has her and, and trust he'll have her again in the fourth grade. I'm thankful I just for your be thanksgiving. No telling what that love is going to do for her. This, this, this note of love right now. Yes, our dear sister. Yes, ma'am. It probably was not wise for you to be here this morning. But through Anna's faithfulness and calling our house this afternoon, letting me know that the roads were clear, I'm here tonight. You're precious. But I'll tell you, she said that you had a message that was so great today. I do want the tapes, and I do get tapes, and I listen over and over again. And I want the tapes from last Wednesday night, too, because I was informed I needed it or could God. use it or buy it for a gift or whatever, so but I'm anxious to hear it. Praise the Lord. But your message does reach. It goes beyond. Thank you, Jesus. By God's grace, you, you preach way beyond what you seem to deem that you think you preach. Oh, yes. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus works with you, you know. Oh, to thee. And the faithfulness of our Lord is with you, with all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. And praise God and hallelujah for this church and all of the people that are in it. Praise the Lord. Thank and you, dear one. Thank, thank Anna for her faithfulness. She's a dear, sweet friend. Anna Brannon. Anna Brannon, we want to thank you. I love her, and I've known her since she was just a young girl. Just love her. I perceived that. I did. This is wonderful. Just think, I preached this close, and this dear saint of God is as happy as if I'd preached on heaven. Next sermon's next Sunday sermon may touch on that. Because it says, deliver us from evil, and the perfect deliverance is heaven. And I like to step into it. I wish I, after I preach this, I could just take a step into glory. Then I, then I could peep through and say, won't you come up? <laughs> oh, it's great. Jesus is wonderful. Fellas, I appreciate it. Let's uh, go down and have this offering. And the girls will sing the last and we'll get, go home. Wednesday night, I don't expect to be here. And if you have prayer dealing, you let me know. But I'm trusting not to be here past 9.15. I, uh, God says, I am with thee. That means he's going to let us close. So we're trying on Wednesday night because of school and various things. And the only reason sometimes services get extended. Now, messages like this will extend it, of course. But in other times, is because if you get a number of people speaking that's not in order, by the time you get those that should speak, mm -hmm. then you've extended the service 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to prevent that the best I know. So Jesus says, I am with thee. 
when I say 915. And I thought that would encourage those of you who have some problems because not every time do we get out there. early. Praise the Lord. I believe Harold Madison. Oh. Harold. Harold Madison? Will you up just a minute here, Harold? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. He's mindful, Harold. He's looking out for us by God's grace, this young pastor. <laughs> Praise God. Father, we thank Thee for this precious day, for Your loving care. Now, Lord, thank You for my people. No man alive could hardly preach like this unless he had a very special people and they had a hunger in their heart not to commit the sin of the Israelites and do it all over again, the thing that we've been delivered from. And, oh, God, if you ever had mercy on a preacher, have mercy on me. Touches my heart, Stephen. I pray that thou wilt lead us forward and grant unto me the prayer of my heart. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Bless this offering. Amen. make the announcements. Stephen has a scripture and the girls will sing and by God's grace we'll go home. Each Wednesday night we're endeavoring dear ones to uh, be out at, at 9.15. I've had it on my mind a long time. And I believe God's going to let us do it. Yes indeed this is a precious day. See it's something that we need to remember today. Very much so. I'm thankful for the peace and joy that I feel in my heart today. Amen. I'm thankful that 10 years ago yesterday, Stephen Reinhardt came to Taze Valley for the first time. And that 10 years ago today, he made the trip with you to Boone County on icy roads. This is the day, exactly. Because the calendar is the same as 11 years ago. No, sir, I was wrong. It's one day's difference. One day's Mm -hmm. difference. Mother was buried on the 7th. Her funeral was on the 7th, but it was today. This is the 8th. But this is it. Right. Uh, how many years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Mm-hmm. One decade mm-hmm. since right. he came and we made our trip to Boone County. 
And drove right. all the way back right. to services that night. See, I've been doing a lot of reminiscing this week. Oh, yes. Um, not sorrowfully so. Oh, no. Very joyfully. Right. Because I've seen little notes from people that uh, were sent to us that really has done something for me this week. Praise it's been a big encouragement. Yes. Because I think back to that day and how over the icy roads you didn't think about any of the people from here coming all those many miles, approximately 70 to 80. That's right. It was icy roads Yes, sir. Day. The snow came the day later. We had a very big snow that on a Monday. So uh, I know we fought it all week and going back up home so many times. But um, the joy and peace that I felt in my heart as the people from Scott Depot would come around. I remember. It was, it was really something. Helen and Dick went down that day. The quartet went down that day. Yes, sir. Steve and I, I don't know if there's anybody else or not. I think there were several people. Several but, others. Right. In that little building where... God came down in a mighty way. We saw you lay your hand on Mother's casket. And I heard you say, praise the Lord. Yes, sir. I heard the victory that was in Brother Barker and in Sylvester and in your mother and other saints in that place. I heard the victory in your voice also. See, the thing that was so amazing to me was that as we went up home the day that they called to say Mother had died the night before the heart attack. As you know, she lived between two mountains. Yes. And Beautiful. as I went around the house, the only scripture that came to me was Psalm 121. And then over and over going up home, Psalm 23. Yes. And little did I know, see, I had no idea what scriptures would be read. Yes. But those were the two <laughs> that were read at right. her funeral service. But you see, when Stephen came with you, I'm sure it was most unusual to those people to hear a, a pastor preach like you did. Yeah. And for someone to sit in the audience and say amen and hallelujah at a funeral, yeah. say. Yeah, Stephen couldn't help himself. No, he, see, I could hear see, this. He can't, he can't remember saying it. Oh, he did. But he hallelujahed <laughs> me all through that Yes, thing. sir. Yes, sir, he Praise sure did. Praise God. Yeah. It was just like light and joy in that little mountain church in right. Jeffrey, West Virginia. Right. Um, all week long, the little chorus him is for the million things he gave me. Oh, means only that she's growing old. T is for the tears she shed to save me. H is for her heart of purest gold. E is for her eyes of love light shining. R means right and right she'll always be. Put them all together, they spell mother. The word that means the world to me, because <laughs> I sure do love her. And even though th there's been loneliness this week, and especially so during the week she dies, <laughs> you see, I wouldn't want her back. Because she has what we're all striving for. And I know it'll be a miracle if I make it. And I know I've failed so many times. But I'm thankful that the forgiveness doesn't end at one time. That God doesn't give up on us. And they will forgive 70 times 70. Unending. And I'm thankful for this. And I sure do love you. And see, little did you know when Mother died that you would be the one to oh, preach her funeral. I didn't know that at all. The ice hit in Virginia before it came here. And so the minister who had married us and who had Mother had always said she wanted could not make it. Well, you see, you were her pastor. You really were. And I'm so thankful that through those years that, that even though I'd been a Christian and that I'd strayed, that she lived, see, to see me yes. in a fellowship. Yes. And trying the best way I knew how. That's right. To serve God. Thank you, Jesus. And for her to be in on your ministry, on the ministry of Lauren Helm, and to believe. Yes. See, she never oh. doubted. Oh, she's not old, one time. An old fashioned saint. Yes. As she knew us because that the sign of God is on all that are called of him. And see, so many times tonight when you were preaching, it was almost as if I could see her ready to stand and say, Preacher Hogue. Yeah. And then yeah, go your mother heard me preach like this. Yes. In an old yes. time digging way, she heard me yes. preach like this. As she get up, you'd be like fresh water would run over the congregation. Because she would come out, mm -hmm. Brother Ho, oh, help she come up. Yeah. And I would have my relief. 
Yeah. Because you see, all week long, too, it seems as if the birds in our backyard have just really been singing more than I've heard them sing in a long time. Right. And, of course, you know her favorite song was He'll Comfort You. Oh. And this is what the quartet sang. So yes. Otis Welsh sure has been on my heart for over a week because every time the birds would sing, I could hear him singing his song. And... Right. Well, one of Mother's favorites was Hand in Hand with Jesus. Yes. So see, and I don't know if you remember how you all closed her funeral or not. No. You joined the quartet in singing, We'll Crown Him, Lord of All. No, I don't remember. You see, I have in my Bible the little thing that you, the program that you wrote out, the, how the service went that day. Praise the Lord. So I'm pretty thankful to have kept that and to realize that this was the crowning touch, was We'll Crown Him, I'm Lord of All. thankful for this memory. So I'm thankful. I'm, I'm especially thankful for Stephen. Yes. And that... Ten years ago. Yeah. He came. He but God him. let him come. And I really believe in my heart that when he was taken away, a lot of his coming back depended on how we acted. Oh, yeah. And I never doubted but thought he'd be back at Scott Depot. So never precious. in all those days. I didn't so. dare think of it, but I heard what you said. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No bitter words did the people hear him say. He offered no reply for his protection. All could be heard was crucified, take him away. I'm not living my life to please people. I could never satisfy them. And it sure did fit. Well, we're ready to go. The Lord help me. If I call for any word, it just must be someone whom God has worked with so strong you can't stand it. Is there anyone like that that God has spoken to just before we close? Usually it's an inner pounding of the heart. You know that the Lord wants you to say something. Yeah. Yes. What's on your heart, Joanne? Praise the Lord. I'm so thankful. Amen. Well, you're hearing me, Joanne. Oh, I'm so thankful. Glory to you. God. Hallelujah. I trust God will help us to hear you. Yeah. Lord Jesus, help me and oh, all of Jesus. us. You wouldn't think that a face could be so beautiful, oh. you know, after a sermon. It runs so close, but this one is. She has an inner call in her. When there's a prophetic sound, there's an inner call in her to urgently um, encourage us to hear and in her own heart for her to hear. It's very, very precious. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Joanne. Glory to God. Your response is one that tells me that 
you're almost halfway into heaven. I don't mean that your life is going to be shortened, but of the way she openly praises God. It's somebody who's called to heaven that lives on earth. Praise the Lord, Dick. Thank you for helping me. Hallelujah. Yes, Stephen has a scripture here before we go. We need this. Yes. Amen. My legs are sore. I can't hardly really walk. While Oliver was preaching, this scripture came to my mind. And it's just just real quick. This child, said Simeon, when he prophesied in the temple. Yes. This child is destined for the downfall as well as for the rise of many a one in Israel. Destined to be a sign for man's attack to bring out the secret aims of many a heart. And I just want to say that if we don't listen to what God brings through Oliver, it's just going to be our own fault and we're going to be the ones to suffer for it. Because... Most of us have been here long enough to know that his motives are pure yeah. and that he loves he loves all of us. For God's grace. I the Lord helping him. And yes. uh, I know that we don't listen. This is what breaks my heart. It's what has broken my heart now for many years. When I see people resent what the man of God says, and I know that they're cutting their own throats when they do it. I tell you, we are so awful in our hearts. Our, our hearts are hard, yes. Oliver. Yes. And I, I speak that way of myself, but so often we resent and resist. Now, I've had, in the last few months, I have felt at times a pulling back from Oliver when he's been preaching. I don't know if it's in the air. I don't know if it's in some of you. I just know I sense this. I, I've been sensing this. I, that probably brought me to this moment. That probably brought me to this preaching today. Yes, sir. Because it can't go unchallenged. No. See, I'm, I'm, see, I hope it's 10 years before I ever preach like this again. Now, some of you don't hope that because you really get help when the prophetic ring comes out. But, yes. but I hope it's a long time. But you see, that can't go unchallenged. He's felt it now for quite some time, the pulling, the pulling back. He's been telling me about it. And I've been hanging on. You called for total surrender here about yeah. two weeks ago oh, yeah. when you were up and when you, you had been preaching. And all of a sudden, uh, during the call, during the altar time, you got up and then you really gave us a call. Now, when you did that, yeah. and I felt us go back. Yeah. I felt that struggle that we get into. Yes, and I, I, had, uh, I hadn't sensed that, but I've been sensing that kind of thing. Yes. And I know that, that we need to, to listen to Jesus these helping. Help to uh, what you're sharing with us and know that that uh, what you're sharing is right and that that when if you're going to share about money if you're going to share about football or whatever you're going to share about the Lord wants us to listen to what you're saying amen you know I'm when it comes to money people can take me or leave me it doesn't bother me a speck because I know that that's the key to a man's heart but uh, I've just been this way for years. This doesn't make any difference. I'm not going to soft pedal that. I know where the trouble is. And so I've been straight with it for years now. I want to thank God that Carl Schuler has helped me. Carl, God bless your heart. I don't know whether you got an old-time background. I don't know what it is. But uh, you have helped me. See, the longer it's gone, the brighter you've got. So it means that you respond to the to the this kind of work of the Savior, and it, it really been Dick Dick Klein has gotten brighter by the moment. Yeah, he's helped me right down here in front. This means a lot to me. It really does, and I want to thank God. I plead the blood over you men since I have mentioned this. Let's stand for a closing prayer. I'm reluctant to close because I feel that there's an obedience somewhere. It should be adhered to, but time just is long enough and there's no end of the kingdom and we'll be on Wednesday night. Don't hold us to it, but as far as often as we can now to school's out, we will endeavor to be out before 9.30, possibly by, possibly by 9.15. And so please, um, please be with us if at all possible. Because we need you here. You are the foundation for God's work in this village. And without you, the work can't go on. Yes, Peter?
Praise the Lord. He said he loves you. I sure loves you, brother. Thank you. Glory to God. Yes. Wonderful, Peggy. Asking Jesus to help me that I, I pray that sometimes you don't, that nobody takes my laughter as a, that I'm laughing at uh, anything no. that's been said. But no. the straighter you preach, the happier I get. And I was just about to jump out of my seat. And it's like that every time you get like that, it's the straighter you get, the happier I get. And I'm just thankful that the Lord put it on your heart to preach Thank like you, this. Thank you, Peggy. You've probably never heard me preach like this. I doubt it. Because you've been, I, maybe I have, but I don't remember it. And uh, I, it sure helps me what you say, encourages me. It makes you, fires your soul, your aunts, and your mothers. Bless God. I'm thankful. Your family. Praise the Lord. All right. Yes. No, 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 no. No, no. No. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, she said she didn't want to go back. She said, oh, Lord, keep preaching. Thank you, Jesus. That helps me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm lonely. See, these thoughts have helped because I'm so lonely. Just the way Brother Hamilton this morning said, oh, God, thank you. He said, thank you for this lonely walk. Boy, that's a prayer to pray, isn't it? Thank you for this lonely walk, he said. I thought, Jesus, help us to move in closer. They tell me that Revival for he told me this morning, said, son, said, we're in the same boat financially. They tell me the funds are, they've not missed a paycheck. We said, we, we need help from God. So we just pray for Revival for our day, too, by God's grace. Praise the Lord, Martha. Hallelujah. Ronald? Get your what? Get my foundation. Amen. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Brother Kid. That gives a wonderful note, Tim. Jesus helping. There. Jesus helping my motives are pure. Have been since the time Jesus called me into this place, and it encourages me when my people know that. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Tim. Are we ready? Praise the Lord. Um, thank you, Lord, for this night, and I want to tell everybody in the youth that I love them. They're all really great, <laughs> and they've helped me a lot, and um, I love this church. <laughs> it's. I wish my parents could come here so much, and I, I just want to say that I love everybody here. And that I hope I get to know more of you. And I want to thank Cynthia and all them that invited me here because they, they, they've changed my life getting me to come here. This is probably the next best thing that happened to me since I got saved.
she's going to be caught. And, and here she's, her life has changed. So here we got in on this at 1035. Goodbye and be careful and God bless you and come back. Jesus says come back.